Eight minutes and 46 seconds of kneeling in silence. Democrats paid a tribute to George Floyd in Congress before presenting their reform plan aiming to wipe out racism and brutality among police forces. The Justice and Policing Act bans violent arrests. It makes it easier to prosecute police officers, and it aims to revise recruitment and training. Democrats plan to examine the bill in the House, which they control, on July 4th. But to pass, the bill would also have to be approved at the Senate, where Republicans hold the majority. In recent protests, another demand has gained momentum, defunding police. Activists say the money used for security forces should be redistributed to social services. But demonstrators are divided. I'm not sure about the abolishing the police. We do need protection. But my thing is if we can weed out the bad and keep and bring in the good, then I prefer that. The call to defund police is not part of the Democratic plan. For U.S. President Donald Trump, the idea is unthinkable. There's not going to be any disbanding of our police. Our police have been letting us uh, live in peace, and we want to make sure we don't have any bad actors in there. And but the U.S. president is not excluding reform within police. The Minneapolis City Council has already voted to dismantle and rebuild its police department after the tragedy of Floyd's death.